and thanks for joining us. We have a great show on tap for you today. Stylist Tamara Godin is stopping by to talk about the latest trends in fashion, and we'll show you a new skin treatment that's brightening faces in the Metroplex. But first, for hundreds of families in our communities, the thought of where the next meal is coming from is a very real problem. Tristan Martinez recently visited Minnie's Food Pantry in Plano to find out how they're helping to provide for those in need and the inspiration behind it. I'm here with Erica Simon at Minnie's Food Pantry. Erica, can you tell me a little bit about Minnie's? Well, Minnie's Food Pantry, it's an awesome organization. We provide free food to families in need with the red carpet rolled out. And how many people do you usually have come in a day that need to be served? Um, usually a day we have close to 80 to 120 so families that walk through our doors uh, for food assistance and we usually have about 100 or so volunteers to help us do that. And do you all have enough food to accommodate all those people that come in every day? Not all the time. We try to give our um, families at least 100 pounds of food and that includes dry goods for them to take back home as well as fresh produce and meats. Um, and so we want to make sure that every time they walk down the red carpet at Minnie's Food Pantry that they provide the food that we give them in addition to the love and the hope and the hugs and the smiles. I'm here with Cheryl Jackson. Now Cheryl, can you tell me a little bit about the history of Minnie's Food Pantry? Minnie's Food Pantry was founded eight years ago. It was founded by myself to honor my mother, Miss Minnie. And uh, we knew that there was a need in our community for people who were hungry because at one time, me and my children, we were hungry and we didn't have a place or a space to go that would make you feel like you um, were loved when you needed food and when you needed help for your family. And that's the reason why I started it. So Minnie's legacy, the day that um, my mother passed away, it was May the 7th, and I remember I was here at 1017, and I was telling my mother, I said, Mom, I said, I want to expand Minnie's. I want to put locations. I want the world to know your name, you know? And so I said, Mom, I want to expand. And her last words were to me, I am so proud of you, and I would be so honored if you would expand, you know, what you are doing. And she kept thanking me. And then at four o'clock, they said she passed away. I just remember the love and the light and the laughter that she would bring to this place every time she came. And so as a team, we try to provide that same thing. We are challenged every single day to take it to another level and to make sure that she is, if there is a, a heaven that she can shine down and look up on us, I'm, I'm thinking that she's pretty happy. And I'm thankful for the community that kept us going and keep us going and supporting us. Whether it's time or money you'd like to donate, visit minisfoodpantry.org to find out how you can contribute to their organization. Switching gears now, with all the skincare products on the market, it can be hard to tell which ones are truly effective. Katherine Dunn brings us this report about one procedure that is getting rave reviews from those who have tried it and those who provide it. Summer is right around the corner, so of course the ladies of Dallas are getting ready. The skin pin procedure is the hottest thing in the market to help fight against sunspots, age spots, fine lines and wrinkles. I wanted to learn more about the procedure, so I'm here at Luxury on Lovers to learn more about it. The skin pin is basically a microneedling procedure, and we've been doing microneedling here at Luxury on Lovers for about 10 years. It's a process that I really believe in, I think produces amazing results. The skin pin is just newer, better technology applied to a procedure that's been around for a very long time. And what I love about the skin pin is that it addresses so many issues. It's um, fine lines and wrinkles, skin rejuvenation, pore size, tone, texture, clarity. It's one of the most amazing things you can do for acne scarring. If people have any acne scarring, it can completely get rid of it. And it's just a very exciting procedure because there's very little downtime, but nothing like laser treatments. I'm 41 years old, but I feel as if I'm 28, and it's all due to luxury and lovers, and in particular, the skin pen. I decided to get the skin pen procedure because I read a lot of articles about it, and I really like the fact that it's less invasive than some of the laser treatments, and the effects are basically immediate. You hear a lot about peeling and peeling and peeling the skin, and actually we really, luxury and lovers, believe that you really don't want to be peeling the skin a lot, that your skin is your natural protective barrier and you want to build it up. Because as you get older, your skin is getting thinner and the, the skin pen actually helps build up the dermal layer. Basically when you come in, we would cleanse your face and put on the numbing cream. You would numb for about 30 to 40 minutes. The skin pen is performed. It takes anywhere from, oh, 
30, 35 minutes to an hour, depending on what we're, what we're addressing. What I love about the skin pen is it gives you a more thorough treatment, a better treatment, and it's a lot more comfortable for the patient. I've had hyperpigmentation of my skin, fine lines and wrinkles, crow's feet, we all get them. Also, I've seen a reduction in pore size. I'm able to tell a difference in the texture and tone and color of my skin immediately the next day. And as time progresses, it just gets better and better. Well, I'm convinced. The Skin Pen Microneedling Treatment is a great way to fight against sunspots, age spots, fine lines, and wrinkles. The procedure is relatively painless, has little to no downtime, and the results speak for themselves. To learn more about the Skin Pen procedure and to find a provider in your area, visit SkinPen.com. It's time for our first break, but when we come back, we'll learn about how one doctor helped his patient keep her smile during her battle with skin cancer. Today with Candace is brought to you by The Best Of Guide. Hi, I'm Dr. Richard Honecker. There's a lot of ADD going around, you know, attention deficit disorder. Now, that's often overdiagnosed, and kids are going to get medications that don't need them, and some kids won't get medicines when they do need them. So who can tell you best if your kid has ADD? Well, First of all, you know what the symptoms are. They're impulsive, they can't pay attention, they can't stay focused, they're running around and have behavior problems and blurt stuff out all the time. That's pretty obvious. Teachers are great diagnosticians for ADD because they see all the kids and they know which kids have done well on medications and which haven't, so they kind of get a good feel for ADD. Of course, your physician can help you. On the internet, you can find certain tests for ADD. There's something called the Connor Scale, but there's other scales too, and they come up with a, a grade, and then you can decide, well, my kid is at high risk for ADD or is not at high risk for it. Now, sometimes, if you can't tell, just going on a medication trial with your doctor will tell you a kid who has ADD is gonna show a certain great response to ADD medication, and a kid without ADD won't. He'll, he or she will still be the same trouble kid. It'd probably grow out of it, but doesn't need the medication. So check with your teacher of the kids and check with your doctor. You've messed up your son's haircut. Ma? Do you A, try to fix it, like it never happened. B, work with what you've got. Or C, show solidarity. Thank you, babe. As a parent, there are no perfect answers. But you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. Hi, I'm Jim Knox, and a lot of people have asked me, hey, what do you do away from the ballpark? Well, I am co-founder of a company called Identity Media Services. Our Emmy Award-winning production team can brand your company with videos, commercials, radio, and television, and our digital performance program specializes in lead generation, websites, and reputation management. So if your business needs a lift, give me a call, because as you know, it is tough to stay on top. Whew, that's gotta hurt. At New You Bariatric Center, we offer a comprehensive approach to weight loss. Dr. Brewer and I are both board certified surgeons and we've performed several thousand bariatric procedures. We also offer medical weight loss options as well as non-surgical options such as the gastric balloon. We know that this is a big decision for you and we are here every step of the way in your weight loss journey. At New You Bariatric Center, a new you is waiting. Hi, I'm Dr. Pedro Laredo. Have you ever thought about how many times you use your hands each day? If you're suffering from hand pain, numbness, tingling, then you're probably suffering from carpal tunnel syndrome. At the Laredo Hand Care Institute, we use the most advanced mentally invasive techniques to help you get back to work and your daily activities quickly, because your hands are important. Give us a call today to schedule a consultation so we can eliminate your hand pain for good. Call 214-790-7602 today or check us out at LaredoHands.com. This segment of Today with Candace is brought to you by BestDocsNetwork.com, connecting doctors who are changing lives with patients looking for life-changing results. Welcome back. Did you know that over 33% of U.S. adults suffer from hypertension? In fact, the hypertension-related death rate increased over 23% from the years 2000 to 2013. And for many Americans, they don't even realize they have a problem. 
Here's the story of one lady who was fortunate enough to get an early diagnosis and the doctor who helped her get it under control. I noticed something wrong in July of 2008. I actually went to a routine uh, doctor's visit for some breakout that I had because um, I had used a different type of deodorant and when they took my blood pressure they said that it was you know unusually high. Hypertension, what can it cause? And some people think well the blood pressure is a little bit high they can take a medicine or maybe they just don't have to take it every day. A lot of people take this uh, idea of hypertension kind of casually but we shouldn't because high blood pressure can cause problems from stroke to heart attack to a kidney failure. So many things can be caused by that one word, hypertension. Ended up inevitably going to the emergency room like a couple of days after because my I just started feeling really dizzy, headache. It was as if my heart was actually hurting inside of my body. The blood pressure was 200 over 110. When I came to see her, her first words were, we're gonna heal you. And I was like, yes, came to the right place. And she has been committed and faithful to take her medicines and to take care of her body to protect her heart. Because high blood pressure can lead to many other things, especially cardiomyopathies or weakening of the heart, heart failure from diastolic heart failure or systolic heart failure. So we have prevented that in her and she's doing very well. Before, I would feel sluggish, tired, anxious a lot, and a little headaches like that. And then after, you know, once we started treatment on medicine, different medicines, you know, I would feel better. I would feel like I had energy. I just felt better and good about myself. If the pressure is too high, too, too much damage can occur in the organs. We have to take it seriously. And, and we just need to educate patients, I believe. If patients really knew what it was all about, they would come and get checked and take their medicine. I believe that Dr. Varghese has been blessed from the Lord with um, life and favor, you know, in her hands. So, and I just love that about her. As Dr. Varghese mentioned, hypertension can be controlled through medication and a healthy lifestyle. The key is getting diagnosed before any serious issues occur. From protecting your heart to taking care of your skin, our next story is about how one doctor is helping patients look and feel great as they battle skin cancer. The prevalence of skin cancer is only increasing, especially since we live in Texas in a southern state. Just the amount of sunlight exposure is, is, uh, is greater than, say, if you lived up north. And, those who are susceptible uh, can get uh, skin cancers. The most common ones are generally less aggressive. They're called basal cell cancers. You have some more aggressive subtypes such as squamous cell and then the deadly killer which is melanoma. Fortunately, that's more rare. Back in 08, I had a little spot that um, was biopsied and came back positive as basal cell carcinoma. When I met Dr. Hall, he said that he would have to do a skin graft using piece of um, tissue from my ear. That surgical procedure worked out really well. Scary at first, but it turned out really well. This year, in May, there was another spot on my nose. In Dottie's case, uh, she had a skin cancer on the tip of her nose, which is a very challenging location because there's not an easy way to just bring the edges of the defect together without creating a lot of distortion. So, you're left with some of the other options. Well, skin graft on her was not a great option because of the depth of it, it was going to heal with a divot, something that had been very noticeable. So really we're left with the more complex option of doing a nasal labial flap or borrowing tissue from the cheek, leaving it tethered to the cheek and then attaching it to the, to the nose. Dottie had that procedure done and that trunk was left there for four weeks. She was a great patient, she, she hung in there. We went to that second stage, we divided it. I did some dermabrasion to kind of sand and smooth the edges of the, the scars and uh, she's a few, only a few months out and, and it's very hard to even tell that she had anything done. Dr. Ha is just amazing. He's like an angel. He makes you feel comfortable. He held my hand and he said, don't worry, Dottie, you'll look great. And I just had to trust in him. When I think about everything that I've been through, I'm very happy, very happy. I still recognize my nose and I think it looks great. Healthy nose, yes, cancer-free, yes. 
I'm very pleased. If you'd like to learn more about Doctors Varghese and Ha, head over to bestdocsnetwork.com. While you're there, you can also find the best doctors in several different areas of practice. It's time for a break, but don't go anywhere. Julie Says So is coming up next, and stylist Tamara Godden will be joining me to talk about the latest trends in women's fashion. Stay with us. Oh, look, a redhead. <gasps> Staring contest! You still got it. I know. Come alive with the forest. The dad was cute. You were looking right at us. Visit discovertheforest.org to find a forest near you. What if there was a skincare product that only took two minutes to work? Well, now there is. To look your best, count on the doctor's trusted brand, Dr. Skincare Two Minute Facelift with the key anti aging ingredient, glutathione. This simple, gentle, non surgical product can help give your face the lift it needs. In only two minutes, you can regain your confidence. Dr. Skincare Two Minute Facelift is your quick fix to beauty. Order online today at thedoctorskincare.com. Welcome back. It's time for Julie Says So. You know, it isn't summer without a disaster flick, and we have a return of one of the greats. Independence Day Resurgence is hitting theaters in June. Now, it's been two decades since the first invasion of Earth, and now we're faced with a new and even bigger threat. It has its own gravity. What goes up must come down. Shouldn't we be nervous? Um, yeah. Some of the original cast is back, like Jeff Goldblum, Bill Pullman, and Vivica Fox. But we have some exciting newcomers as well, including Liam Hemsworth and Mika Moreau. Will Smith was originally part of this cast, but the studio never agreed to his $50 million salary. That is definitely bigger than the last one. Catch Independence Day Resurgence in theaters on June 24th. If you missed The Revenant on the big screen, that's now available on DVD. This one dominated the Oscars this year, picking up a Best Director and a Best Actor statue for Leonardo DiCaprio. It tells the true story of frontiersman Hugh Glass, who was attacked by a bear during an expedition and left for dead. The proper thing to do would be to finish him off quick. He's to be cared for as long as necessary. I understand. Get away! Help! Boy, and he took him from me, you understand? The Revenant has moments of staggering violence, and it can be difficult to sit through, but it was also one of the most visually stunning movies I saw in 2015. Pick up The Revenant, and then prepare yourself for that bear. Ugh. And if you need a family film, consider Ice Age. You know, a brand new Ice Age movie is opening this July, but they will be hard pressed to top the original. The very first Ice Age came out in 2002 and told the story of a saber-toothed tiger, a woolly mammoth, and a sloth who find a human infant and then search for its family. I actually thought you were gonna eat me. I don't eat junk food. It features phenomenal voice work from John Leguizamo, Dennis Leary, and especially Ray Romano. Now there are some scary tiger moments and one terrifically sad storyline, but kids should definitely see the first Ice Age before any of its sequels. Remember, you can catch all of my current movie reviews and find free movie passes on my website. It's juliesaidso.com. If you haven't already, be sure to check out Julie's site. There's much more than just movie reviews on it, including recipes, podcasts, and her rants and raves. And you can always find all of Julie's segments on our website, todaywithcandace.com. I am super giddy about my guest today. Joining me now is stylist Tamara Godden, and she dressed me today. And I mean, what woman doesn't want to have a stylist right here at her disposal 
And we have just that. Tamara, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. So start off by talking to us about how you first got into fashion. So fashion um, became something that just kind of evolved into my life in college. And um, I went to school um, and I did fashion merchandising and then I packed my suitcases and went to New York and I had gotten a job there already and um, I kind of haven't looked back. Wow, and so you're actually um, based in New York and here in the Metroplex as yes. well, right? You know, it's worked out really well to be able to have a career in New York but also here and I just love and adore my clients so much that I just couldn't give them up so I just go back and forth. So tell us what you do for, for clients. What does that actually entail? Mm -hmm. Being a personal stylist means that I work one-on-one -on -one with clients and so I basically go into their home and based on their lifestyle and you know the needs that they have, um, I shop for them and bring the clothes to them so they're able to just kind of fit in the comfort of their own home and we do the fitting right there and um, then the best part of it all is the photo book that comes at the end and that just allows me to coordinate the different pieces, the new pieces and, and items they maybe already had in their closet and make outfits for them and that kind of becomes their little Bible, if you will, throughout the season um, when I'm not there. Um, to say, oh, you should wear this or put this together. So that's kind of their go-to on how to dress throughout the season. And I think it's important to mention also that you don't have to shop at Chanel and high-end clothing stores for people, right. right? Absolutely. I mean, I work with just regular, everyday people who just have busy lives and whether it's, you know, work or family or travel or that they just don't really love to shop. So it's just nice to have somebody like myself that can kind of take that burden away. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, it is such a treat to have you here and stay with us because when we come back, Tamara is going to be showing us some of her personal picks for spring. Did you know kids who play outdoors have healthier lungs? Totally. I did. Did you know that boys that play with dolls make better husbands? My son has lots of dolls. But did you know terry cloth diapers breathe better? I did. Mm -hmm. It's totally true. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did you know that strollers have the right of way on the sidewalk? Yes. Yep, I did. Did you guys Did know? you know that kids who eat breakfast have higher GPAs? Yeah, I know. Okay. Yeah. That's actually what I was going to say. Did you know babies should never touch silver? It's really bad for them. I knew that. Did you guys know that statistically friendly kids have more friends? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's obvious. Did you know most people think they're using the right car seat for their kid, but they're not? Parents who really know it all know for sure that their child is in the right seat at the right age and size. Visit safercar.gov slash the right seat to make sure your child is protected. I'm putting that on my blog. I just put it in mine. At New You Bariatric Center, we offer a comprehensive approach to weight loss. Dr. Brewer and I are both board certified surgeons and we've performed several thousand bariatric procedures. We also offer medical weight loss options, as well as non-surgical options such as the gastric balloon. We know that this is a big decision for you and we are here every step of the way in your weight loss journey. At New You Bariatric Center, a new you is waiting. Hi, I'm Jim Knox and a lot of people have asked me, hey, what do you do away from the ballpark? Well, I am co-founder of a company called Identity Media Services. Our Emmy award-winning production team can brand your company with videos, commercials, radio, and television, and our digital performance program specializes in lead generation, websites, and reputation management. So if your business needs a lift, give me a call, because as you know, it is tough to stay on top. Whew, that's gotta hurt. Hi, I'm Dr. Richard Honecker. Alcohol is a powerful drug with a lot of problems and it's so easy to get. How do you know if you have a problem? Well, one rule is if you think you have a problem, you probably do. If you're wondering if you're an alcoholic, you probably are. If you've ever had a DUI, you probably are an alcoholic by the studies that are done. If you've altered your relationships, your work schedules, or your life in any way, in a negative way, uh, yet continue to drink, if alcohol is the source of that and you continue to do it, that is a sign of alcoholism. There's a big genetic component to alcoholism, so if you have a family history, that's something you need to be worried about and monitor yourself pretty carefully. You can take something called the CAGE questionnaire, C-A-G-E. C stands for, do you ever feel like you should have cut down on alcohol? A is, do you get annoyed that other people say you should cut down? 
G is, do you feel guilty about your drinking? And E is, do you ever need an eye opener? If any one of those letters apply to you, you may have an alcohol problem and get it checked out. Moderation is important, you know that. Well, we're back with Tamara and she's ready to show us some of the hottest trends for spring and we're going to get right into it because I know you have a lot of stuff to show yes. us, right? Okay, yes, so, we do. And our models are all familiar faces, all gals that appear on the show. We're going to start off with Tristan. Tell us what Tristan's wearing. Okay, so we have put a pantsuit on Tristan um, and I do want to say that this is not something that's just for um, people that are Tristan's age or size that anybody can wear a pantsuit. We've paired a great vest with it um, and vest is another really great trend this season in addition to the pantsuit and added some really fun layered accessories and she is just ready to go somewhere really fabulous. She looks great. I love the bold print. Yes. And also the mix of the metal. So that is yes. okay to do? Absolutely. Okay. Any Anything that says you have to do all silver or all gold, you can mix all your metals together. And we've added this fun studded shoe to kind of just polish off the look. And yeah, she looks fantastic. Okay, up next, we have Miss Catherine. You look adorable. Okay, so another wonderful trend for this season is a white dress, and it's something that everyone should put in their must-have uh, list for the season. Um, and then with this dress, um, we have added a really fun pop of color through the shoe. Love those shoes. Um, yes, they are so fun. And also with the red lip, um, again, if your mother told you at some point you can't wear red lipstick during the day, she was misinformed. <laughs> um, you can definitely wear your red lipstick all day. And then because this dress is so flouncy and fun and and we wanted to really add a good fun necklace with it uh, to just kind of give it a little bit of an edginess uh, to pair nicely back with the red lip and so yeah white dress mark it down ladies absolutely I love this combination thanks Catherine okay and up next is Julie you look great. Yes, and on Julie, um, we do have a lovely little flouncy skirt. Um, and a lot of people think, again, with the flouncy skirt that they have to tuck something in or they can't pull it off. But if you pair it with a more simple top, if you pair it with a top that um, is cinched in at the waist like we have here with this bow. It really is flattering and just adds something really nice. And then doing the pattern mixing with the little striped clutch with the bold print and then a nude, um, a nude heel is something that everyone should think about having in their closet this season because it can really go with anything. And you know, don't think just because it's Texas in summer that you can't have that in the middle of summer because you can. And um, and the pattern and the suede that you're seeing and all of it, you just have to find ways that it that it works here with this Texas heat. And then just really tied the skirt back in with that really fun necklace that's just adds that great blue. And blue is one of the absolute hottest colors this season. And mixing blue and white together in any variety is is wonderful and it's a great, great trend. Awesome. Okay, so while the other ladies are coming back in, tell us where all of these fabulous clothes are from. So all of these clothes are from Nordstrom, specifically got them at uh, Nordstrom North Park. Um, and we have such a variety of price points here and, and all different um, styles and trends. So anything you're looking for, they have it there. They sure do. Yeah. I love that place. And yeah. tell our viewers how they can find you and how you can shop for them. Absolutely. If you just go to my website, which is www.tgstylist.com, you can find out um, information about me and the services I provide and how to get in touch with me. Thank you so much, Tamara. This Thank has been you. so much fun. Yeah. Ladies, y'all all look fabulous. Me. I think we need to all go out after the show, right? I know. <laughs> is it too early for a cocktail? <laughs> <laughs> Never too early. Well, that's our show for today. Thanks for watching. And for more great content, visit our website, todaywithcandice.com. Happy shopping. See you next time.